I got green things growing in my backyard. You may not see them now, but I tell you that they're there. Now you might think that the ground has grown too hard, but roots run strong, and you never know what's living there. Now I have seen things turn to brown from all the sunlight. Too much of a very good thing brings on the night. But sometimes the seed has to fall for new growth to come. And roots run strong long before you know what's living there. So cry your tears Don't hide it all Into each life Some rain must fall And life like rain Kissed by the sun Helps roots grow strong Let's new life come And I see your green things Growing in your front yard may not see them right now, but sugar, I can promise you they're there. So don't you go thinking the soil has grown too hard. Because roots run strong and you never know what's living there. Cause roots run strong and you never know what's living there. Because roots run strong and you never know Welcome to any KVT Rocks and my guest today is David West and you're a Newport folk singer. I'm using the word folk singer. You can describe yourself any way. <laughs> folk singer works for me, thank Good. you. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that fits in with my hippie background. <laughs> what brings you to Newport? Um, wow. Uh, interesting question. The, what I've been saying to people is we actually found, my wife and I found Newport by accident, and we came here on purpose. Uh, That's we, true for so many of us. And um, my wife, Deb, actually grew up in Vermont and has mm -hmm. always wanted to come back. And we went camping up at Lake Willoughby mm -hmm. and went for a drive one day looking for a grocery store and yeah. um, stumbled across Newport and just fell for the place, really. The main street was beautiful, uh -huh. They're sitting there by the lake, had lunch and, you know, just thought well, we're going to have to remember this place and then uh, after a while when we started we had made the decision that we were going to move up here um, mm -hmm. to Vermont we started looking at places and found what seems to be the perfect spot for us we, um, we joke and say we, we um, bought a view and it came with a wonderful house uh, <laughs> so um, that that's pretty much how we got here and and you're planning on staying, clearly. Absolutely. You're, inve <laughs> you're invested. 
Yes. It's really nice. I know you've performed in a couple of places locally, mm -hmm. but so how are you finding everybody and how are people finding you? Um, people have been wonderful, actually, um, in terms of how do you find folks. I, f I find them to be amazing and fabulous and friendly and open and welcoming. Um, it's really a wonderful community. Mm -hmm. And um, how I got started playing here was um, we had stopped into um, Jasper's down the road a bit. Yep. And we're sitting talking for a bit, and my wife happened to mention, oh, my husband plays. And the next thing you know, um, I'm doing a show down there. Of and, course. <laughs> and so it's a, uh, every so often we'll play on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. And um, then uh, Tim Daly came in mm -hmm. one night and saw me and asked if I'd be willing to play at a, uh, a charity event that uh, the Joshua House was right. putting on, and I was very happy to do it. And um, <clears throat> he also had, he mentioned he was looking for, um, he needed to arrange for sound and stuff like that. And I said, yeah. well, I, I have this system and I'm not doing anything with it. So, uh, and a, a fellow that I have um, gotten friendly with here, Jeff Rahman, yeah. um, offered to come in and do sound. And the folks here at the TV station offered some equipment. So um, that's how I got to play at the at so that. So the pieces event. are all just coming so together. It's been very. Um, I guess the word would be organic. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, I think so too. What's your music background? Oh gosh, um, it's long, clearly. <laughs> yes, and you I'm are a singer-songwriter. Getting a little bit long in the tooth, and it's getting to be a longer, longer story. Um, when I was a boy, my mom um, was very much into folk music. Mm -hmm. And so I used to hear a lot of it at the, you know, when I was a kid at the house, um, the Kingston Trio really sting oh, yeah. sticks in my head. And, um, of course, growing a little bit older into, you know, adolescence and teenage years, then mm -hmm. all that went by the boards and it had to be rock and roll. Um, and then that started to get tempered um, as I got older, introduced to more styles of music. Mm -hmm. I, found jazz, found the blues, found a lot of the uh, jam band sort of stuff. And one of the interesting things about the jam band um, area is that a lot of the music that you'd hear the jam bands play, um, go with Grateful Dead in particular, mm -hmm. um, is actually old stuff, old right. songs that um, has deep roots in bluegrass and the folk yes. tradition and Appalachian music and that sort of thing. And that really appealed to me too. It felt, sort of felt like I had come for full circle. Right. And um, in more recent years, I've been much more uh, into the folky, bluegrassy kinds right. of stuff. So in a way, roots music is going back to my musical Yeah, the folk roots. process is fascinating. It is. There's and, a ton and, of research on it. And how the songs have changed over right. the years. But they, the, the songs are essentially still the same. The stories yes. are, are still the same, although there are new verses and lyrical yeah. changes and things like that to accommodate, um, you know, the... Changing both, world. Right, exactly. Both the yeah. history and the new world. The so. old troubadour is exactly what folk music is. Right. There was always that, I always had kind of that romantic notion of um, way, way back, uh, the uh, itinerant musician who would mm -hmm. travel from town to town and, and yeah. um, basically carry the news with them as they went. Yeah. You know, when there wasn't mass communication, it was a lot of how, well, what's going on in the next town? Well, this guy was just there and he's yeah. telling It's a really powerful position, actually. It is. It was. It still <laughs> is. It still is. I mean, the power of music is amazing. Yeah, it is. It um, makes, you, makes you feel things. I was just talking about this with my wife recently, and, and she was saying that... Um, that ability to make people feel things and connect to yeah. parts of themselves that they may not be consciously aware of is, is a wonderful thing. I mean, if you think about how we use music between the 60s and the late 80s, I mean, it was about change and it was powerful. And, and it drove some of that change. Yes, yes. exactly. I mean, it was wonderful so. being a part of it then and presumably you were and yeah, it was. Uh, I was much younger then, 
<laughs> we'll we all. Now. <laughs> yeah, I know. To, to, to I paraphrase Bob Dylan here. I was here. just going to say that. <laughs> But um, or actually, he said it better the other way. I was yeah. so much older then, I'm younger than that now. But um, yeah, it's, it was a very heady time. Yeah. And um, I didn't, I, I'm sure a lot of us didn't realize at the time exactly um, how important that was and what was going on there. And I think we knew it for ourselves, but not really in terms of the other change around us, the greater like change. The broader society and yeah. such, yeah. So. And hopefully it's coming back. I like to think so. Is, uh, there are some folks now who um, are really getting in touch with that inside stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Really, um, well, uh, I'll use Noah Khan as an mm -hmm. example. Um, courageous right. um, songwriter. Um, the stuff that he shares that comes from a place inside of him right. that it's really nice to see people going back to that mm -hmm. um, as opposed to the canned bubblegum yeah you know poppy stuff right yeah. what fits Which into that three minute to, window but, right yeah. yeah what fits into that three minute window that yes. you can get onto the radio <laughs> and squeeze a couple of advertisements yeah. in yeah yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. <laughs> Commercial. Right. The music business has become more business and less music. And it really has, and that's really sad. It is. But I, but I think that's what makes part of doing, you know, people that are still doing live shows, it's part of what makes that yeah. um, such important piece. Right. And um, we all missed so much with the COVID shutdown. Oh, yes. That people are starving for live music now. Yeah, they are, and it was, um, and COVID actually changed everything, I think. Mm -hmm. um, not just, uh, I mean, for individuals in their yes. in their day-to-day -day life, but also around us. Yeah, and it did. Some of it was actually changed for the better because mm -hmm. people started to think about other people um, and take yeah. care of other people and provide stuff for other people who couldn't, for whatever reason, take care of yeah. themselves. Um, but then other folks, you know, not so much. They w kind of went in the other direction. And, right. you know, sadly, um, we haven't quite come back from that yet. No, but um, we're I do on have our faith. way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do have faith that... We are um, on our way. In the, ...in the goodness of folks that um, may be down but not out. Yeah, exactly. We opened the show today with you singing one of your own songs, do you want to tell people a bit about that? And then I gather you're going to be singing a couple more songs. Just give sure. us a briefer piece of information. Sure. Um, one of the song, the first song was um, called Green Things. It was yeah. something that I had written um, a number of years ago that um, some friends of mine, at the time I was playing in a band called Cross the Water, and some good friends of ours, um, were going through a divorce and it was very depressing time for them and they were yeah. really hurting. <laughs> and that idea for um, the green things sort of, you know, they had gardens, they, they had this wonderful little house mm -hmm. in the country and um, with, with uh, wildflowers and, and vegetable gardens and, and stuff like that. So the idea of um, the green things growing mm -hmm. sort of found its way into that sentiment you know it's like yes things can be difficult yes things are hard sure but you never know right what's what could be growing in that mm -hmm. fertile soil and even if you don't think it's fertile soil it's you know there's a lot that we don't really know right. about so all we can do is um try to take care of it and and and, and see what grows yeah and you're going to be singing a couple of other songs. What, what are they? Yeah, the next one that I think I want to do is, um, <laughs> it, it's almost a companion piece uh, <laughs> to that one. It's, um, but it was more of my own, uh, a reaction to one of my own uh, relationships coming apart. The reason I say it's a companion piece is the fellow that was part of that couple first didn't much care for the song that 
their situation had inspired. <laughs> but the second one he really liked a lot uh -huh. and, and came and spoke to me about it on, a, on more than one occasion. But yeah, if I ever fall in love again. And, sure. you know, I mean, they're all love songs right. in one ex to, one, to one extent or another. Um, but it's this very similar um, sentiment in that um, people are resilient. And when something hard hits, mm -hmm. whether it be a relationship that fails or somebody that's close to you that passes right. um, or some other, you know, COVID horrible right. event in your life, um, there is a way back from that. You just basically don't give up. You, mm -hmm. just, you, know, you, you soldier on, as it were. Yeah. And, um, one foot in front of the other. <laughs> exactly. And then, you know, you find out afterwards that, you know, you're stronger than you think and there's always something new. Mm -hmm. If I ever fall in love again, I hope to find a feeling like the one I had with you. I hope her lips can kiss my tears away like sunlight shining warm upon that misty morning dew. Oh, let the birds sing from the trees those songs of love I haven't heard since when I lay there in your arms. Oh, if I ever fall. you ever stop to think of me as you walk down the road to find tomorrow for yourself please be kind as you remember that young fool who gave you all he had although it's just himself you never stole my heart i gave it all too freely as i fell into the comfort of your arms now i wonder will i ever fall in love fall in love oh yes you will just give that broken heart a little time to mend no I'll never fall in love you know you will cause given half a chance you do it all again maybe I could fall in love if ever I could find a heart that I could call my friend oh if I ever fall Together, maybe sometime on a lark. Know that I will always have a smile for you, and that you'll ever own a corner of my heart. But I can't just let this empty feeling drain away the quiet force that dwells within my soul. Now I know that I will try. fall in love oh yes you will just give that broken heart a little time to mend no I'll never fall in love you know you will cause given half a chance you do it all again maybe I could fall in love if ever I could find a heart that I could call my friend oh if I ever fall
other that I think I want to do um, that uh, is actually, um, again, more very personal one, um, mm -hmm. and, and it's called Daddy's Home. Uh, and it's about um, my daughter, Diana. Mm -hmm. um, my wife and I are blessed to have two wonderful children. Um, neither of them are children anymore. <laughs> sure. But, um, um, but my daughter, Diana, when she was born, she was premature. She's um, spastic and quadriplegic and cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. very you know, significant handicaps. And um, when she was tiny, um, was holding her one night and you know just kind of rocking her to sleep. And I was thinking, I'm going to write a song about you one of these days, sweetie. I'm, I'm going to do that. And, it took me probably 15 years, <laughs> but I did eventually um, mm -hmm. come up with the song and um, had a, was able to take that into the studio and record it and had a number of friends come in and help with that. It yeah. was, and it turned out to be a, a really wonderful recording. see it in your eyes every time you look at me there is so much hidden there that so few would ever see no you cannot call my name and it may not ever be I can see it in your eyes every time you look at me summer wind fighting off the cold outside no I cannot be with you every time I hear you cry when I hold you in my arms we can feel it you and I I woke last night cause in my dreams I saw your face and you ran to me to brush the tears back from my eyes as you cried out my daddy's home. Though your body locks you in there is so much you can do I've seen your spirit soar And you've taught me loving too You've shown me who I am So many things I never knew Though your body locks you in There is so much you can do And I can see it in your eyes Every time you look at me, there is so much hidden there that so few will ever see. No, you cannot call my name, and it may not ever be. I can see it in your eyes every time you look at me. I woke last night, cause in
Do you have any more gigs coming up? I do. Um, I'm going to be back at Jasper's on Sunday, February 18th, I believe it is. It's the mm -hmm. Sunday after Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and we play from... You can only do Valentine's songs up until that. Oh, that's going to be a real short show. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so um, we play... Uh, we go down about, start about 4 o'clock, roughly from 4 to 7. So, you know, and now that football season is winding down and there's not so much to keep you glued to the TV on a Sunday right. afternoon. We you know, <laughs> hope to see some folks. And, uh, but it's a nice place. It's a comfortable time. It is. And, um, you know, so we just, we hang around and we have some fun and uh, share some songs and share some stories. Right. And, and, and it's really pleasant. So. That's great. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. I hope we can do something with this again. Well, that'd be terrific. The, one of the wonderful things, there's so many wonderful things about Newport, but one of them is the quality of musicians who just live here, just live out their daily lives, and the opportunities to bring everybody together. We don't have to necessarily import big bands from outside. We have some amazing musicians here. Yeah, and the charity event that we spoke of earlier yeah. with uh, Joshua House was right. a good example of that. Exactly. Were, you know, but there's um, so many more as well. Right, and it was anyway, wonderful. Thank you for coming in, thank and you. hopefully we do this again. Okay.